Well, I'm Coach Ferber. <laughs> Learning how to communicate with kids through body language and through 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 energy was, I think, key for me uh, as, as far as that goes. But I think, going back to your question, as far as, like, who are my favorite guys to work with, um, it's the guys that would rather be doing nothing else other than playing. It's the guys that I don't have to call them or remind them to go hit. It's the guys that are that are taking 50 dry swings in the mirror every cup every waking chance they get i know they're in the house checking out their stands looking at different things and they're they're so driven and love the game so much that practice becomes fun they somehow find beauty in the struggle you know and so those are the guys that i typically like um that's who those are the guys i like to work with so it's funny the other day andy goes into the second half of the game right and we're in a dugout and the question was right the question was what are the chances that Andy hits a linea? Everybody in the dugout, pretty much at the same time, say 100%. <laughs> this, man, this man came out, mommy's tummy, swinging a bat, man. 100%, right? Cincinnati? No, it was against Cincinnati. Cincinnati yeah. yeah, laser over the third baseman's head. My hip turns my foot, right? My back hip turns my back foot. If I get into a position where my back foot has to turn my hip, I've gone early, right? If I get in a position where my back hip turns my back foot, I'm in an ideal position to strike the back hip. So back hip turns that back foot over. Yes? So we hold that torsion as long as we can until that back hip triggers and it turns that foot and we hammer the ground from above. Go on to landing. On to landing. Don't go into it. Go on to landing. That energy that you give off, yeah. I think your energy is your, your best asset. Like you're pumping guys up, you're firing them up. That yeah. encouragement and empowerment goes a long way, and every baseball player needs somebody that believes in them. And when you talk to your players, I bet they wholeheartedly believe everything that you say to them, especially when it comes to their abilities. Understand, I'm a pitcher. I'm not a closer. I'm not a setup. I'm a freaking pitcher. I'm an athlete, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to command the strike zone. I'm going to disrupt timing, and I'm going to beat these guys. So three things you always have to do. You have to be present. You have to be intentional, and you have to be competitive. Every time you step on the mound, whatever the role is, that can't change. That's who you have to be. Shout out my failures and whisper my accomplishments. You know what I mean? Shout out your failures and whisper your accomplishments. It's no good. You know, if you don't have a team of people around you that that that, that clap when good things happen for you, you should probably find a new team of people. Running through it with the young influence, had a lesson presence, also coming to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete the check to put the 